What is happening guys? My name is Jamie. Today we are doing another CD collection video. Got a few CDs that I collected over the past, you know, over the past uh, few weeks. Last CD collection update was about four weeks ago, so it's time to do another update for you guys. First of all is a brand new album. It's Evanescence. Evanescence and the album The Bitter Truth. I actually really do enjoy this album by Evanescence. A lot of people are shitting on it just because of the overall production. But overall, I think this is actually a pretty good album. But it's not their weakest. I still feel the self-titled, which was released back in 2011, is still their weakest album. But I do really enjoy this brand new Evanescence album. And I got this actually pretty cheap. I think it was around about $12. Oh, you got songs like, yeah, right, along with Feeding the Dark. Better Without You is such an awesome song. Production is a hit and miss. So like a lot of people don't like the production. I do like the production. I think this is a solid fucking album. But next up is Ramstein and we got Muta. Muta, such a awesome album overall. I love the album cover. Songs like Mine Hurts, Brent Denon and Den, 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 den. I love that song. Thanks, Zwei Jai Fear. Such an awesome song as well. You got Ich Will, that amazing catchy chorus. And you got Muta. <coughs> Muta. Spielier, Zwitter, Ryan Rouse. This is my favorite Ramstein album. My favorite Ramstein album. And I'm so glad I fucking got this album. It's a classic by Ramstein. Absolute classic. And Muta is easily a 10 out of 10 album. A, another brand new album that was released this year. It's Store Trend and the album Impermanence. This is a fantastic fucking album. It really is. I love it. I just absolutely love the presentation of this. There's the actual CD. The back. It just feels like one song. So it is a technical death metal album. My favorite song is Moon Sun Stars, Cosmos Enter. And you got Grand Next in Abyss. Impermanence is such a beautiful instrumental. It just feels like one whole song. Each song bleeds onto each other. One of my favorite albums of the year. Store Trend Impermanence. Got some Ahab Voyeur. It is Ahab Divinity of Oceans. Divinity of Oceans is an incredibly overrate, uh, <laughs> overrated. Is incredibly underrated album. Look at the back though. Look at the back. If you can see the back, it looks like uh, some guy is just sucking the life out of, the, out of a baby. I love the album cover. And speaking of Ahab, I got an Ahab tattoo. But yeah, I got an Ahab tattoo. Such an awesome fucking tattoo, it really is. See if we can zoom it in. It's got it, Ahab, Captain Ahab is going down with the anchor. I love this album, I really do. Oh Father Sea, such a great song. Redemption Loss, I love the riffages. This is when Ahab incorporate more cleaner vocals on this album. This is their sophomore album and it's one of their best. It's an incredibly underrated album by Ahab. Next up, we got some more Ramstein. It is Zenzuk. Zenzuk is again another fantastic album. Got Engel, the beautiful song Engel. Tia, Bestrafe mich, along with Spiel mit mir, Alter Man, I versucht, I versucht. Love this album, I really do. It's one of my favorite albums by Ramstein. Yes, I'm starting to collect Ramstein albums. Really do enjoy the band. Next up is another brand new album. It is Suicide Forest Reluctantly. This is a pretty awesome album. It is a black metal album, atmospheric black metal album. This is a digi pack as well. But I'm so glad I got it. One of my favorite albums of the year. Love the art cover. Really do. The art cover is amazing. But overall, I think this is a very good album. Very good album by Suicide Forest. Songs like Reluctantly, As the Light Fades, Part 1. Trembling in Emptiness, As the Light Fades, Part 2. This is a pretty depressing album. And it makes you think twice whether you want to live or not. Another new album that was released in January, I think. Grimmer Rotten Garden. Oh, what can I say? This is a great fucking album as well. It really is. Take a look at the back. Them just chilling in front of a fire, getting all warm because it's so damn fucking cold. But yeah, it's such an awesome album. Real Will Primordial, their previous album, I still think is slightly better than this. It is, but yeah, this album is incredibly atmospheric. Even got sounds of owls as well. You should put Quest for Metal's owl sound on this video. Great album like Cedar and Owls. 
of old oak, rotten garden, grom. There's actually a bonus track as well, Devotion to Law 2020. So that's a bonus track on this album. But yeah, Grimma are a folky atmospheric black metal band. Absolutely adore them. Hey, we got some more black metal for you. It is Mare Cognitum Solar Paroxysm. What can I say? I love the artwork. I really do. The artwork is absolutely amazing. I love the presentation of the album. Antisarian is such an incredible song. Got Frozen Star Divinization. Terror Requiem is more doomy, more different by Mare Cognitum. Luminous Accretion, one of the best, one of the best fucking songs by Mechanidum that he's ever done. That melody is so damn infectious, along with Atar Ataraxia Tunnel. Incredible, I love how he use a lot, utilizes his deep gutturals. This sounds fucking great on CD, it really does. I feel that this version by Mechanidum is a lot better than the digital versions. Well, next up, we got an interesting album that was um, released through the Metal Box. We got Flesh Hoarder and the album Homicidal Necrophile. I haven't heard this album yet. I definitely want to check them out. But uh, you know what? The album cover looks interesting, doesn't it? Looks really interesting. Honestly, cannot wait to check it out. We'll probably definitely check it out. It's got 11 songs on it. And they all sound pretty gory, but yeah, that, that artwork is amazing. He's ripping, he's ripping off his fucking head. Ripping off the corpse's head. Fantastic. And finally, one of my favorite albums. This is the special deluxe version of Asphyx Necrosros. Asphyx Necrosros. This is an incredible album. And it is a digibook. With two CDs, we got the album, and then we got a live version. So the um, we got a DVD, 10 years of Death Doom Domination. That's right. So this was filmed in 2017. Honestly, cannot wait to check out the concept. Yeah, the book is really good. It's got all the lyrics. It's got all the lyrics. It's got everything. It's got them. Fantastic fucking album, really is. Songs like The Soul Cure is Deaf, Molten Black Earth, such an incredible song. Your Mount, Mount Skull, Knights Templar Stand. You got that Doomy song, Three Years of Famine, that unbelievable, amazing song. Botox Imposion, I love the intro, which does sound like something out of Now Nafrak. The Blazing Oceans, yeah, this is a very war themed album by Asphyx, absolutely adore it. And The Crossroads is one of my favorite albums of the year, along with Mare Cognitum. Also, along with Suicide Forest, and we also got Stortren, which possibly could, these could be, I think these four are, my, I think these four are in my top 10. They are in my top 10. Actually, we'll quickly do a thumbnail. Okay, there we are. So yeah, so let's go through the albums that I collected. Evanescence, The Bitter Truth. Ramstein Mutter, Asphyx Necrosoros, Stortren Impermanence, Suicide Forest Reluctantly, Mecognitum, Solar Paroxysm, Ramstein, uh, Zenzuch, Ahab, Divinity of Ocean, Grimma, uh, Rotten Garden, uh, Flesh Hoarder, Homicidal. Uh, ne necrophile and that's about it guys so that's all the album so that's all the cds i collected um over the past month there's been less cds uh this episode just because there's a few other cds that need to come like i did order Orden ogan i also ordered uh the lion's daughter as well the brand new album i also ordered soothsayer echoes of the deep or echoes of the earth such an incredible album that is but yeah, a lot of brand new 2021 albums will be coming my way. And honestly, I cannot wait to just have them physically. But yeah, that's it. Comment below the albums you collected over the past month. What do you think about my collection at the moment? And I will see you in the next one.